Um, yeah, we're, we're disappointed, you know, to come away uh, with a defeat. But you know, on the other side, it's only one nil. Um, so it's all to play for at our place, and you know, with our home record, I think we'll be confident going into it. Our sort of our home form speaks for itself, um, and you know, with 34,000 Chef Word fans, it will just give us an extra boost. It'd be like the 12th man. So um, yeah, we'll be extremely confident going into it, and uh, you know, we'll be uh, be looking to get the win. As you say, the home crowds are always going to make a big difference in in these playoff legs. Fair to say Sunderland had that tonight, and we'll get that on on Monday. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, obviously they had forty two odd fouls in there to cheer them on. Um, you know, it didn't phase us really. You know, I think we all blocked it out well. Um, but yeah, look, I think one nil is. There's a few positives to take out of it. I know, obviously, it's a defeat, but um, I just think we started the game too slow, really, um, and then we did eventually get back into it. The, the, the gaffers praised the the doggedness the lads showed in that game. They really had to dig in at times. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, we didn't stop when we were we were one 0 down. When we were under the cost, we kept fighting. So credit to the boys. Um, but, you know, we're only halfway there, and you know, we're going to put 90 minutes every every last bit of energy we've got. We're going to take to Hillsborough and uh, give it our all. And like I said, we've got all the fans behind us, um, and with a good home form psychologically, we're in. We're in good shape going into it, um, so we're going to dust ourselves down, recover well and, and get ready to prepare for the home leg.